This is why JSPM and System.js rock. First I'll make a folder for my app. Then I'll go ahead and install JSPM. Then run JSPM init. This will create the config file, pull down some initial dependencies. And I can install something like Lodash with one line. Now let's make an app HTML page. First I'll import system.js, and then I'll import the config file that was generated by JSPM to configure system.js. And it's updated when we pull down dependencies like Lodash, so system.js knows where to go to resolve those dependencies. System.js was brought down with JSPM as well. And then I'll have this import of an app.js module. App.js will be an ES6 module that will use system.js to import, so let's go ahead and create that. Then I can use ES6 import syntax to pull in the Lodash module. And just like that, I can use Lodash functions, for example, the range function, to create an array of 10 numbers. Then I'll iterate through those, and I'll just write them out to the document with an H2 tag around each of them. Showing the seamless browser experience here of working with System.js to pull down dependencies easily and get to work right away instead of worrying about pulling down dependencies and getting them into the right locations and worrying about script tags to import them. I can start a little lightweight web server here and open up my app HTML and there we go, we've got our list of numbers. So pulling back up the app.js module, this is the value proposition here. All I have to do is a JSPM install followed by an import statement to pull in Lodash. Two simple steps to pull down any dependency I want. 